Time and Temperature from Commerce Bank. Good evening. Welcome to Politically Incorrect. Let me tell you who's on the show tonight. Ann Mira is here. <laughs> I always love it when Ann Mira is here. The better half of Stiller and Mira, not the better, but the awfully good That's half. That's okay. I'll take that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Over here, Rabbi Arya, my, one of my... Arya. Arya Pamensky. Okay. And uh, you are uh, on a mission to eradicate divorce with your amazing marriage seminar. That's correct. Around the country. We will get into that. Pamela Paul, you might have something to say about that. You wrote The Starter Marriage and the Future of Matrimony. And Brian Cranston, you were, of course, the dad on Malcolm in the Middle, very funny every week, Sundays at 8.30 on Fox. Give a hand to this panel. And As you could probably tell by everybody's introductions, uh, we're going to talk about marriage. Now, last week, we, we had our emotionally incorrect week where we talked about love and sex. We thought we'd give equal time tonight and talk about marriage. I kid, of course. <laughs> I'm joking. You aren't into the love part, are you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love love. Okay. You don't uh, like to wake up with someone next yeah. to you. I heard you say that. I never I said that. I was shocked. Shocked. <laughs> shocked and appalled. <laughs> I'm very good at waking up. Um, <laughs> all right. Now, Dr. Wade Horn. Do you know who Dr. Wade Horn is? He's Absolutely. The he's the, he's the <laughs> marriage czar. He's got an official title in the Department of Health and Human Services, but basically he's the guy who is going to spend $100 million of your taxpayer money to promote marriage, especially among welfare recipients, because this is an argument we've heard many times before. Actually, it said, he said marriage education, promoting marriage education. Premarital education and marriage enrichment. enhancement, yeah. marriage enrichment after they're married. Is that for not, straight he's not couples trying to go, only? He's not trying to go to people and say, you must get married. We yes, want he to is. We <laughs> want to educate you. You can dress this up any way you want. <laughs> they want people to get married. And I understand the, the argument is that it's economic, that on welfare, people do better and kids do better if they come from a home with parents, with two people together. Two parents. But I'm, I'm saying that... Uh, Am I possibly wrong, but uh, if someone just has one parent, that means uh, they have things against them in life. Uh, many of the kids involved in Columbine and other places, didn't they come from two parents? Absolutely. So, Which is, I mean, and also gay parents, I might. Gay parents. He just says two parents, so maybe it's a good thing. Maybe two same-sex partners. Trust me, Dr. Horn is not talking about gay marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, exactly. Don't blow your horn here. <laughs> the same people horn. that are advocating using welfare money right now to improve marriage are the people that accused welfare of destroying marriage in the first place. So yeah. why not use welfare money <laughs> for welfare? Yeah. That's a very interesting point. I think it should just be the opposite. I think we should put the money into having people, having these kids in Oklahoma not get married so young. <laughs> uh, have, <laughs> yeah. have some well, kind of test. Did anybody like... mention condoms at all? Not yet. Somebody but... mentioned it the other day. He well, was the Secretary of State, and he got the back of the hand from the administration <laughs> for just bringing it up. Well, there's uh, nothing wrong with bringing it up. I mean, my husband still carries one from 1968, <laughs> but it's, it's there. Oh. <laughs> No, he Sorry used that the other night. It's okay. <laughs> well, now your book is the starter marriage. You you talk about it. you said kids in Oklahoma getting married at 19. This is what your book is about. You say it's not so bad to just have a starter marriage. Oh no right? no no! I don't think it's I don't think it's a good thing, and I wouldn't advocate that anyone should have a starter marriage. But I think if you're going to get divorced, better to do so before you have kids while you're still young and you can move on and learn lessons that hopefully you'll take forth whether you get married again or not. You know, it's really way, I think it's way I'm better sorry. to learn. That's okay. I think it's way better to learn about marriage before you get married so you don't have to go through the divorce to learn the lesson. Oh, I definitely. Mean, you don't learn, I guess if you go I mean, through... Absolutely. I mean, this is a you cautionary tale. You don't have to go through tale. a car crash to become a better driver. Boy, absolutely. if you really tell kids about what marriage is like, they'll never get married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, oh, no. Come on. Go, Parents go, go. tell their kids what kind of career they should have. They get them advice about <laughs> So you're not afraid friends, your wife is going to that. But they don't say anything about marriage. And get mad at you. She doesn't stay up this late. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the problem we have had talking about marriage on the show, is that people who are married are afraid their spouse is watching, and they never, and they, so they don't really I'm not talk. afraid of Jerry. It's 48 years. I'm not afraid. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've got uh, cojones there. 
You know, if, yes, I'm sorry. if Oklahoma truly wants to reduce the amount of bad marriages in their state, they should put up a, a bunch of billboards with Drew Barrymore and Tom Green saying, don't let this happen to you. Yeah. You know, just really That's, promote promote the... Show, showing, bad, showing bad marriages doesn't teach people how to have good marriages. No. You've got to educate people how to have good marriages first so that when they go into it, they're not blindsided by this, this but thing. But Rabbi, it's, it's shouldn't all it be, they see are the white weddings? I, I don't think it's right for one group to tell another group how to live. So let's have Absolutely. lots of groups well, then, do it. Well, then but why let's have a group have there for people it. who are interested if they want to go to it. But you can't impose that on people. But excuse me, and we impose education on people every day. You impose education about medieval history. You impose education... Impose education about marriage. What right, could be right. more important? And also, right, one is, group is, is you know, all... It should be there if they want it. It shouldn't be imposed. Imposed is a word I but guess and? I disagree. Imposed is just another word for educate. Yeah, but, yeah, but what do you mean by educate? Oh, no, no right it is not. In high schools. That's high schools, an interesting point of view, <laughs> Rabbi. <laughs> in that high impose and educate are synonymous. Math and before we start getting worried about yes, teaching I marriage in high schools. Yes, I both of those. Absolutely. Math and English. start teaching math and English? Yes, before we start worrying about promoting marriage Math and English doesn't help. Math, math and English doesn't help in your relationship skills. You know, Listen, but I don't think that teach, showcasing... I'm not saying don't teach math and English. It's extremely important. Also teach relationship skills. But, I mean, to, when... To high school it's students. Nothing. Teach relationships yeah, I, in I agree with that. I'm right, just but, saying you shouldn't I mean, you force these the... people, and it said... says lower income. They're not hitting the rich people saying you've got to get married instead of shacking up or whatever. They should definitely do it for the rich people, too. Right, but is, oh, right. is educating people about marriage just showing them the positive side of marriage and I'm focusing... I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Is educating people about marriage just focusing on the white wedding and the positive side no, and idealizing teaching them it? conflict resolution, teaching them what Brian was talking about, teaching them the, the reality of what marriage is when the honeymoon is over. The honeymoon's over, now marriage really begins. How do you make it work? And not just marriage, all relationships. What skills. about making them pass a test before they get married? I, yeah. That's a great idea. You have to pass a test no, for many things. None, right. of, us, Driver, none, none of us here would have been born if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> none yeah. of us. You know, you don't see Your so well on the written. We're perfect. No, you're 100 right. You have to get a driver's license, you got it through a written test, yeah. probation period, in car test. So that you can also I don't know how you do that in marriage, test. but. <laughs> Well, they, they now have a waiting period for marriage licenses Rabbi in Florida. They can't get a waiting period for a gun, but you can have a waiting period for a marriage, which I think is a pretty strange contrast. But you don't learn anything by waiting. I don't think the government Educate. should go in there and, and insist or impose this thing on people. That's all I'm no, saying. And if they want to <clears> have information where people can come voluntarily to get it, that's fine. Otherwise, the government, Dr. Horn, is like yen to the matchmaker, and it's the right. I mean, the, this, the this, syndrome. this state is involved in the marriage on the wedding day. They give the license. After that, it goes on for another fifty or sixty years between two people, and I don't know what the government's business is. Fifty or sixty years. Wow. Yeah. If you get married at twenty-five <laughs> today, that's the average age that women get married. I guess you only get married once, in a while. <laughs> <laughs> You are in trouble uh, if your wife can't <laughs> sleep tonight. <laughs> we got to take a break. We'll do that. Well, President Bush arrived in China today, 30 years exactly to the day, the same day and on the same tarmac of the famed Richard Nixon visit in 1972. When you think about it, Bush and Nixon have a lot in common. They both went to China, both Republicans. Both made it a priority to get out of Vietnam. <laughs> Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by Listerine Mouthwash. Come on, you can do it. Just 30 seconds of Listerine, twice a day. Sure, it's a little intense, but think of all the germs you're killing. Listerine even kills the germs that can cause plaque and the gum disease gingivitis. That's right. You're fighting plaque and gingivitis every time. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't wimp out now. There. See? You can handle it. Germs can't. Listerine. Worth the time every time. Why buy a flatbed when now you can enjoy any size Craftmatic 3 adjustable bed free? If you ever had a bad night's sleep or felt sore, stiff, back, neck, or shoulder pain, Craftmatic would love to give you an adjustable bed free. Call for this free color catalog and enter our adjustable bed sweepstakes. That's all it takes. 
Imagine, one free call could lead to a lifetime of temporary relief from low back pain, poor circulation, or just poor sleep. Make that free call now, and we'll also include free heat and soothing massage absolutely free. So if you've always wanted an adjustable bed, now here's the opportunity to get yours free. Call for your free color catalog on the adjustable bed that costs 50% less than many quality flat beds. With free information how to get a Craftmatic adjustable bed now absolutely free. Call 1-800-213-9300 for your free Craftmatic. Call 1-800-213-9300. That's 1-800-213-9300. Call now. Friday, it's a baby boom. From the miracle of tiny, preemie babies to the miracle of making babies and three couples who are all trying, which one's most likely to have a baby first and what can you learn from them? Watch 2020 Friday. Category is free family fun and the answer is the hottest ticket in town. The correct response, of course, what is Jeopardy at Radio City Music Hall in New York? And we would love to have you join us. Here's how. To request Jeopardy tickets, simply apply at 7online.com. Be a part of the fun when ABC 7's Jeopardy comes to New York City. Ticket promotion sponsored by the Mohegan Sun, a legendary entertainment dining and shopping experience. Come play. Freeze, LAPD! Patrolling your neighborhood every Friday. Cut, cut, cut. This guy is the worst actor I have ever seen. This spring. I'm not an actor. Get that camera out of here. Fighting crime. Oh. Okay, Annie, get the dish up. Goes prime time. You are the TV cops. Robert De Niro. You don't think we're real cops. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. It's showtime. <laughs> showtime. Show your body at the car. Oh, you okay there, TJ? Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, March 15th. You yeah. give if you, Janiel Beatrice, are late for school, then they have to. The bitch needs to get detention, and it's the my. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, what? Did you see the bitch? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what did you, you say? Beatrice. 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 Oh, yes. It was Fergie. That was because we're having an, an, an anniversary oh, show tomorrow. She, she was saying bitch, and then she tried to cover it up. Ah. <laughs> no, she was speaking with that a... That old yeah, sneaky Fergie. Yeah, Speak Fergie. Speaking English. No, we love Fergie. Uh, okay, we're talking about marriage. Uh, your book, your book. And, uh, you know, you play on your show, like many sitcom dads, head up his ass dad, endured by martyred mom, you know, who treats the dad... Like, really just one of the other kids. Well, thank you, Bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, that's what you play. I'm not saying that's what you are, but yeah. that's everywhere in, cult in our culture is that the man... Is oblivious. The husband is, yeah. is an idiot who cannot get along without the guidance But that's of... just getting even for the days where Lucy was the ditz and Gracie Allen and, and uh, Burns, you You're know. You're right. The Gracie it's Allen a, was... You know, You're right. You women used to be the yeah, dumb Yeah, they were you... like uh, feeble uh, creatures. The women's yeah. movement prevented that from continuing on. And so now to have the male take over that role is an easier target. And I think that's why it's going that way. Especially... Well, I mean, a lot of people who are very much opposed to the women's movement have had this idea. It's this evolutionary psychology idea of the female being the civilizer of the male beast and that that's right. supposed to be her role. Would you but... say that again? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. <laughs> There's some truth to that, but though. That, I mean, come on. There is. Is that, is that really good for marriage or couples, that one of us always has to be an idiot? And now it's us. It's that, I mean, if I suggested the kind of things that women suggest about men freely, you can say anything about like men. Like what? If, say something. If I said that women were clueless dingbats who focused on the wrong things in life... You have it would said be... that. I watch your show. <laughs> <laughs> well... But, you know, that's because I'm not a... You <laughs> smile. Oh, muy macho. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I know in, in your seminar, you talk about the three A's, Correct. Rabbi. The husband... The husband needs to... To do these three A's to make his wife happy. And they are... And that's are... the key to a happy marriage. And they are attention, affection, and appreciation. Anal. <laughs> well, wait, wait. Anal. Um... <laughs> not anal. 
Brian, why are you bringing body parts into this? Oh, you were, you were, you, you dozed the off there for a second. wasn't about body parts. <laughs> what were we talking bad. about? You're bad, That's you're right. bad. Yeah, you were just channeling there. Right, you got to come to my <laughs> seminar, I think. Yeah, you got to get... I'm a, with you now, okay. You got to remove yourself from yeah, genitalia but, or whatever. Look at that look. He's okay. So tell us again. There's oh, I'll, try, I'll try that again. Uh, attention. Attention, affection, and appreciation. Those right. are skills for a man to learn in a marriage how to make his wife happy in a relationship called a marriage. And we have What's to give that to man, to learn too. from the man. Ah, uh, thank her you. Her three is. Well, well yeah. the same thing. Wouldn't it be the same Why, thing? I don't well, know. I, mean, I have a, my, the theory that I have is that in a relationship, the women have much greater natural skills in learning how to relate and if men learn how to make their wives happy, the women will take that happiness and turn it into a beautiful relationship well, and make her husband that's happy right. as well. But listen, if, if women were so good at it, then no. why don't they train boys when they're little boys? That's a role for mommy to do, not for the girlfriend or the wife. Because mommy is not a woman to a boy. She can't teach him how to be married. She can teach no. him relationship skills. When she starts to teach him how to be married, then you got a different relationship with mother and son. <laughs> that's right. That's not that's not, not that there's cool. anything wrong with not that. Not that but there's <laughs> anything wrong with that. <laughs> of course. No, but I think we know what you're into, so. Billy, those you know. three A's apply, yeah. I think, to the woman as well. Well, the woman, the thing in my seminar, I tell the men need to be told that. But why, the the say, women why don't. is it always the men who are, need to be trained? Because, we're because they're delicate. Men are very fragile. We're they just really idiots. Are. No, I'm not saying idiots. We're dogs. You're fragile. And if, no, and if you want to help your husband or to but, be sensitive towards you, uh, well, wearing a garter belt doesn't hurt. That's all I can say. Hey, think. hello. I don't what? think men are so fragile. I think women are overly yeah. sensitive, and men, I think, often have to, should be telling women to sort of chill out and stop worrying and uh, getting so anxious and obsessing yeah. about yeah. But you Why know, Pamela, that, we're talking right. about men and women. We're not saying which man, which woman. I mean, we're generalizing. I know, but why are we the ones who are, who don't get it and have to be not trained? Not only you. You are the only one who no, doesn't I get it. No, I am not. Listen, this is what, what Dr. Phil it, says all the time. Men, we is, don't get it. We're stupid, but we can be no, trained. No, How demeaning. It doesn't make us stupid because we don't get relationships. Well, we shouldn't It makes to us be, men. To be... Hey, there it is. It doesn't make us stupid. Okay, but you, you think we need to be trained? Trained is not the word I would Made use. Made aware of. I would say they need to be in a relationship with a woman to help them long term guide them. Okay. Yeah. But, yes. well, but that's, that's assuming that men are the ones who fail. And the reality is yeah. that two thirds of the time for divorces, it's the woman who leaves the man. So because obviously... he's not making her happy. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. No, but I you know. Think men are <laughs> sensitive, very sensitive. I Jerry's think very sensitive. He cries all the time. What is with me? <laughs> you guys got to come to my seminar. He cries with you or because he's with you? Oh, we just... It's a thing we do. It's just our thing. I think, I think men are, cry, are kiss, simplistic. Cry, kiss. We're like dogs. We, what do we... Come on. We, we, we like the hump, we like the sleep, and we like to eat. And that's dogs. normal. You know what? That's, that's normal. What dogs like. You have been trained and brainwashed by women. I know you a oh, little bit. Come you on. are not simplistic, and that are not all your interests. You have swallowed that malarkey from Dr. Oh, Phil. Bill. You do not just like to hump and drink. You are Stay. not. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Does someone have a tasty oh, treat? Do you, do you <laughs> honestly think that describes you or me or the but rabbi? Is it simplistic generalization? Yes, because right. it's the base that we are. I mean, come on. you, you got to admit. We could all profit by have, taking the rabbi's you know, course. It's not, it's not, you want to say that again? We could <laughs> all profit by taking the rabbi's course. Thank you. Well, you Just should take my course because I have the three B's that men want from women. <laughs> Beer and breakfast in bed. How oh, about that, that rabbi? <laughs> You yeah, Bill. <laughs> Thank Bill, you that, for defending well, my point. Women have no problem with that. You think you're the only one that wants things like that? Women want that too. Men, men would have sex with mud if we thought we can get away with it. And, and then, and after a while, we'd start looking at other mud. <laughs> other mud. Okay. Oh, I gotta take a break. We'll be. <laughs> other so mud. I Well, in Georgia, authorities think they may have finally found all the decomposing bodies in the crematorium scandal. But, of course, being rural Georgia, it's hard to tell. For one thing, 
a guy comes in looking for the bodies of his wife and his sister. Uh, you don't know if that's one corpse or two. He writes the song that make the whole world sing. I write the song By special request and overwhelming demand, Arista Records is proud to present this special collection of hit songs, Ultimate Manilow. Like Barry Manilow has sold over 60 million records worldwide. Ultimate Manilow is jam-packed with 20 smashes all on one disc, capturing the worldwide magic at one special price. CD $18.98, cassette $15.98, plus $4.95 shipping and handling. Ultimate Manilow includes all those favorites like Could It Be Magic, Even Now, I Write the Songs, Looks Like We Made It, Daybreak, and Coco Cabana. Her name was Lola. Ultimate Manilow she is the album you've been waiting for. I made it More blockbusters include I Made It Through the Rain, Ready to Take a Chance Again, It's a Miracle, Somewhere in the Night, and Mandy. Act now and you'll receive a limited edition poster free with purchase, featuring all Barry's original album covers. Barry Manilow, Ultimate Manilow, don't wait. Order your copy now for 1898 CD, 15.98 cassette, plus 4.95 shipping and handling. Get the limited edition poster free and know this one's for you. To order Ultimate Manilow, call the number on your screen or send 1898 for CD or 15.98 for cassette, plus 4.95 shipping and handling to the address show. One-on-one -on -one competition continues as the top 64 golfers in the world are down to four. The World Golf Championships Accenture Match Play Championship Saturday on ABC. Park has been nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. You did that on purpose. I'm hard. Roger Ebert calls it a tour de force. Tough luck on whoever's got any secrets to hide. Gus Bird Park, rated R, now playing. This Saturday at every Macy's, it's Super Saturday. One super day of savings store-wide. Jewelry, 30 to 50% off, plus an extra 10% off selections. Coats for her, a total savings of 40 to 60%. Sportswear dresses and suits for her, a total savings of 50 to 75%. Sportswear clearance for men and kids, 50 to 75% off. George Foreman Baby George Rotisserie, $59.99. Macy's Super Saturday, plus a preview day Friday. Anytime your throat's sore and needs real TLC, it needs trusted Luden's care. Only Luden's combines proven relief with luscious Luden's flavor. Luden's, cause everybody needs a little TLC. and counting. The new 210 horsepower supercharged Nissan Xterra. Still everything you need, nothing you don't. Well, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue was released yesterday, and it looked to me like all the girls were perfect tens, but today uh, the French judge is saying that the Canadian girl was a five. <laughs> okay. Now, as long as we're talking about marriage and we have uh, marriage experts, I would consider you an expert. You I'm said not an expert. I have no advice for anyone. 48 no. years? Come on. That's pretty I'm good. married 48 oh, years. That's an expert. Thank you. It's just Now, I... Uh, <laughs> and, always, and always worth the cheap round of applause. Yes. <laughs> like, you endured it. Like, That's I right. beat cancer. <laughs> I'm married for 50 years. But uh, I was mentioning on the show last week that I think from what I've heard from people who've been married a long time, that marriage is best at the beginning and at the end. At the beginning, it's hot and sexy, and then yeah. at the end, you know, you don't even care about sex, so it's wonderful again because you have this friendship that you don't have to worry that you're not humping. It's the middle Oh, you're 40. dead wrong. You're totally wrong. That's not what marriage is like no. at all. Yeah, when you get older... Only once again the women applauding, but that's <laughs> No, okay. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, it's different. First of all, we generalize on this show because we're not talking about each specific man, woman, whatever here. You have here. to in life. Jim. Okay. No, you don't. But, you know. Of course you do. Yes, you do. All right. I'm not getting there. I'm not going down there. No uh, book I'm in saying... the world could exist without generalization. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that it, I personally am happier now in our older years. That's what I'm sexually saying. Sexually with oh, Jerry. Oh. Yes, yeah, sexually. Tell us that about disgusts that. you. <laughs> 
You see, you're what's... a younger person. You don't want to hear about older people what's being... What's Jerry like in bed, anyway? Huh? He's hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's hot. He Very takes good. out that so... old condom for all... just for memory's sake. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm joking badly, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the premise of your question, the premise yes. of your question is that sex at the beginning of the marriage, no sex at the end of marriage, the middle years are void. Not void, but they're contentious because you're not in sync. There's as more to this marriage. Is what I've heard. There's I've... more to marriage than sex. Wait, Rabbi, I, I hate to get specific. Sex is a great but... part of a marriage, but there's more to marriage than sex. That's not what makes a great marriage. Right. But why aren't you wearing a wedding ring? Are you married? I'm married. You are married. Sure. Is, is it rabbis not wear wedding rings, <laughs> or is it's, it uh, maybe he doesn't it would feel like her. I don't know. I just I was wondering. No, you were talking about marriage. I think it's one of the three A's. So how's it working out? The marriage okay? It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Bro. Well, come on. He's on TV. The There's a lot of ladies I, watching. The community that I live in, the custom is that men don't wear mar uh, wedding rings. So that's, that's the deal. Just the custom. But I tell Doesn't you, you're you're wrong to think that the end of marriage there's no sex. The women wear the rings, but the men don't. Right. Huh. Well. And I think that says something right there. It doesn't say anything. I don't know what it says, but it says something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't say anything. It's just it seems thing. to say that the women are treated more like a belonging, and the yeah. men don't have to wear the ring. The, oh, which come is certainly. On. Oh, please. The you're telling me a... that you're telling me that that does not characterize the history of women in religion. You know, you can that be married, and none of us chattel. have to wear rings. The What's ring's it? not a symbol of of me. Ring. What did, what's the word you used? I don't know. Owning her? Well, the ring traditionally well, the was ring a symbol a, of the man being a able to afford a, the dowry. Okay. It's a symbol of a commitment But of like love. in the Bible, well, adultery yes. is a property crime, not a sex crime. It's a property crime because someone has violated another person's property. That's Why the Bible. Why are you always going back to the, well, to, to, to the Bible? Pertinent. Because well, I'm mean, generalizing. Yes, you're it's general. general. <laughs> that's going to be the rule anyway. your own personal I beliefs. take a commercial, we'll be there. Do you wonder where Britney Spears or NSYNC got their moves? Here's your chance to get the inside look at how it's done. With Darren's Dance Grooves, the new video that breaks down the moves and shows you how to do them step by step. We step back on our right leg and then move forward. It is definitely the best choreographer of all time. His unique street style dance steps have been featured in music videos, award shows, and concerts seen around the world. Dancing's all about having fun. Now you can get down with my new video. Ain't no lie. Now these fresh moves are available for you to learn on Darren's Dance Grooves. Plus, Darren will show you his brand new pop and lock routine. I break it down so you can learn the dances at your own speed. When you're watching this choreography, you just want to get up and do it with them. Darren's Dance Grooves is not sold in any store. This is going to be the hottest video you've ever seen. To order, call the number on your screen or log on to musicspace.com. Must be 18 or older to call or log on, plus $5.95 shipping and handling. ABC's first place for comedy marathon wraps up tomorrow with the Manly Man competition. Go! And there's Jim in manly training. Can I have a dollar for some pop? No, 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 no. Oh, what a challenge! Which of these shows will be the most manly? Find out on ABC tomorrow, your first place for comedy. When you're a double agent, what are the odds your cover will be blown by the people closest to you? Oh a new alias, ABC Sunday, 9, 8 Central. In the 21st century, the vampire Lestat knows no fear. We are the powerful. Except one. Akasha, the mother of all vampires. Join me or die. She takes pleasure in only one thing. Aaliyah, Stuart Townsend. Destroying life. And Rice's Queen of the Damned. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Rated R starts tomorrow. For the first time ever, The Wiz opens its warehouse doors in Elizabeth, New Jersey to the public. Thousands of items are priced to whiz out at below cost, all with full factory warranties. Save from 40 to 70% on millions of dollars of inventory. And the sales tax is just 3%. The Wiz $10 million warehouse clearance sale runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at The Wiz Warehouse in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Just minutes from the turnpike near Ikea. Don't miss this buying opportunity of a lifetime, only at The Wiz Warehouse. Critics are united. Gene Shalit Ray's Heart's War is excellent. It's an absorbing drama with a maze of tension, suspense, and surprise. Newsweek declares it's expertly plotted, and it's the best film of the new year. Heart's War. Rated R. Now playing.
The Eyewitness News Investigative Unit has a toll-free tip line. If you have any newsworthy information, please call 1-877-TIP-NEWS. That's 1-877-847-6397. Your call will remain confidential. All right, one old joke to button this topic. Old man comes home, his wife says, would you like super sex? He says, I think I'll have the soup. <laughs> <laughs>